Hello, and welcome to the second video of FSC Canada's Landscape Learning video series, focusing on Intact Forest Landscapes, or IFLs. I'm Cliff Wallace, Chair of FSC Canada's Board of Directors and a longtime volunteer with the Alberta Wilderness Association. The goal of this video series is to share important information about large landscapes, which are a key area of focus for our upcoming National Forest Stewardship Standard revision process. In this video, we will explore intact forest landscapes, or IFLs, what they are, why they are important, and how they contribute to Canada's larger conservation goals. An IFL is a large, undisturbed area greater than 50,000 hectares. These landscapes are free from roads and other fragmentation, allowing them to fully support their natural ecosystem functions. Canada's IFLs are truly unique. In our boreal forests, fire is a natural occurrence that the forest is adapted to. So an IFL in Canada is not lost when a stand replacing fire happens. These landscapes are critical habitats for species at risk, like the woodland caribou. Additionally, they are incredibly diverse, spanning across various provinces and natural regions. Canada's IFLs are primarily found in large expanses in the northernmost forests, with their southern tips extending into forest management units. There are also islands of IFLs in more southern regions, which fall entirely within some forest management units. These southern IFLs are often on the edge of the 50,000 hectare threshold and are therefore at greater risk of loss. Some IFLs are already legally protected through mechanisms like provincial and federal parks and many overlap with land that is remote or less commercially productive. IFLs hold significant conservation value because of their capacity to sequester and store carbon, provide critical habitat for species at risk, and their overlap with culturally significant lands for Indigenous peoples. Because of this, IFLs have immense potential to contribute to the UN's Global Biodiversity Framework through Canada's 30 by 30 commitments. This initiative aims to address biodiversity loss and the climate change crisis by conserving 30% of Canada's land and water by 2030. Conserving IFLs can contribute to this goal as well as to other effective conservation measures. FSC Canada's standard revision process, which includes the review of indicators that protect Canada's IFLs, can bolster FSC Canada's commitment to combating Canada's biodiversity loss crisis and reducing carbon emissions while increasing carbon sequestration in Canada's forests. We are working with the Standard Development Group made up of representatives from FSC Canada's economic, environmental, social, and Indigenous chambers to ensure that we do so in a way that creates value on the landscape for all stakeholders. Please be sure to check out our next video in this series, which explores Indigenous cultural landscapes. Thanks for watching, and be sure to share this video with anyone you think could benefit from learning more about FSC's approach to intact forest landscapes.